Hey everybody, this is the Sliders Review, and I'm here today to talk to you about The Rock has finally, finally addressed the Black Adam updates and the whole James Gunn situation after staying silent for a very long time. So he went to Twitter and he basically said that in the first chapter of James Gunn and the Saffron Man, whoever that dude is, um, Black Adam will not be a part of that. But he has ensured that he might show up in the future. Um exploring different ways to bring black adam into the multiverse so he doesn't want to give up on it yet he also states that him and james gunn have been friends for a very long time very close and everything and like you know stuff like that i smell a liar now <laughs> okay here's the thing um now there's a good possibility yeah black adam might show up in the future sometime in the multiverse because um even though it was a, a financial bomb you know the rock still wants to be black adam he is still like upset about that and everything um who knows what might go on and you know people can say whatever they want but it's the end result that matters so now as for him and james gunn he said they've known each other for years if that was true, why don't they follow each other on Twitter? I've been wondering. I don't follow neither one of them, but I decided to follow both of them. And I went through, like, you know, the mutual people that, like, you know, follow whatnot. Neither one of them follow each other on Twitter. You think that they've known each other for years, follow each other on Twitter. Now, I don't know about Instagram. I did not check there. And so that's just kind of weird that Twitter, since The Rock is very vocal on Twitter, and so is James Gunn why don't they follow each other and you know as for him having thick skin dude <laughs> you've been silent for over a week and a half but you haven't congratulated your friend who you say you've been close with for a long time after he became the new hierarchy of power you've been really silent not only have you been silent but when have you have talked about black adam you keep talking about like you're in charge of everything i don't believe this not for one second i think it's damage control i think it's to make the rock um not seem like a sore loser because everybody is dogging the rock right now every time i go to twitter and i go to anything that says justice league dc studios um Anything that has to do with Warner Brothers, Black Adam is always the same. It is fans ripping on The Rock worse than when he first appeared in the WWF and before he became The Rock. Remember the whole die, Rocky die chance and everything? He has not been made fun of that bad since those days. I think this is damage control. And you know, the thing about him is that he was a poor sport about this entire thing. He got blindsided, but he blindsided others and everything. So you, karma comes around, you know what I'm saying? He went over the head of that Walter Hamada dude, whatever his name is, and everybody else went over his head. I think he's just trying to save face. He knows there's no future for Black Adam. You know, so far, they're not exploring the multiverse. They're just trying to do whatever it is they're doing right now. And not to mention, whoever it is going to be the new Superman, do you really want to see this version of Black Adam go up against him? Alrighty, well, I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.